today I'm going to teach you how to use Idle's debugger. First, you have to open your Python script. Next, to open the debugger, go to the shell window, click the tab debug, and then click debugger. Let's go over the layout of the debug panel. In the top left, we have the buttons go, step, over, out, and quit. The go button runs the program until it hits a breakpoint or the end of the program. The step button advances the program by one line. The over button will execute all lines within a function call. If you are currently inside a function, the out button will execute all the lines until the end of that function. Finally, quit stops the program, but it does not exit idle or the debugger. Next to those buttons, we have the options stack, local, source, and global. Stack shows you the main box with the current line of code. Locals shows the list of local variables. Global shows a list of global variables. And source shows the current line in the code editor. Finally, I want to talk about breakpoints. A breakpoint is a marker that tells the debugger when you want to stop automatic execution and start stepping through code manually. To add a breakpoint, go into the code editor and right click a line. Click Set Breakpoint. If you want to remove a breakpoint, right click a breakpoint and click clear breakpoint. Breakpoints are highlighted yellow. Now I'll go on to a demonstration. All right, so I have my debug control panel here open and I have this all four, the stack, source, locals and globals all selected. This here's the stack, this here's the locals, this here's the globals and the source is the source code. With the debug control panel open, I can run the program and it will start debugging. Here, this highlighted line is the next line that will be executed. It has not been executed yet. So, without breakpoints, if I click go, it'll just go all the way to the end of the program and it will stop. So if I run this again, if I don't want to go until the end, I'll use the step function to go line by line. So here I want you to, to, to take a look at the globals. You'll see at the bottom the x, the x variable and y variable will uh, appear. So when we execute this first line, x5 will be added to the bottom of the globals, then I step over this next one, now the y is added. Now this next print function, this print, fu this print is a function, so if I step into it, it will open up a new script, and it will go through all of the different um, lines of code that requ is required to actually run print. So I'll show that now. So if I hit step, it just opens up another pro program. And I can step through all of the, the pieces of print, which is not very useful. So if you're in a function like this, you can click out and it will go to the next line that is outside of the function. However, if you don't, however, you, you want to use over beforehand. So if you're, if the line says print and you have not gone in to this, you haven't actually gone into the function, you can click over and it will go over the print function entirely. You won't have this open, which I'll show. Uh, on the next print one. But here I can click out and we'll just go to the next. Oh, there's a couple more functions, but it will go to the next function. And now I'm at the for loop. So here I'm going to step into this first time and now it says print. Now I don't want to go into this print again. So I can just click over and it will skip the next line. And it's still printed, but it just didn't go through each step. Now I can keep going, doing this for a while. Um, you know, we've 
can go over again and step and step and over and whatever. Just over. And just skip through all of this until we get out of this loop. Here we go. Now we're on this last line. And then here, again, I'm going to hit step over. And now the, fun the program ended. Now real quick, I just want to show what happens when you click the quit button. If I run it again, and now we're debugging, if I just hit quit, it just ends the process. And it keeps open the debug uh, idle shell and everything. It just stops running the program. Now I want to show the breakpoints. So let's say I want to add a breakpoint. I want the entire program to run up until I hit this z equals i plus 2 line. I can, I can right click and hit set breakpoint, which will highlight that line. And then if I run the program, I can click go, which will now run the entire program until it hits that breakpoint. So I can hit go and it'll, it already went to i, x, and y and it already printed. So now we're at this point. It says it so here it says line 8 z equals i plus 2. Now I can step and it will go again so we can hit go and go and we can just keep doing this. And now since we're at the last one it will just print. Oh, you don't want to do that. There we go. Now, since we just, that's pretty much all I wanted to go over with the debugger. That's pretty much all you need to know. So, have fun.